For those of you following the missing children cases on this channel, it's very hard when we hear news of a body found, especially in the area or county the child went missing in, our hearts sink, waiting for news. It's normal. Some of these cases have gone on for months, and while we cling to hope, the longer these cases go on, the more difficult it is to find the missing person, sadly. There was some sad news coming in this morning, a 16-year-old child was found deceased in Sardis Cemetery, Tennessee. Investigators are working to uncover the details as to what happened to this teenager. I've received numerous emails, and the distance from this cemetery to Sebastian's house is about 2 hours and 20 minutes. It's smack bang in the middle of Sebastian's house in Memphis where Chris Proudfoot was working at that time. All this information raised more eyebrows as we wait for answers. The Henderson County Sheriff's Office is reserving comment at this time. The circumstances surrounding how the body was found is also awful. A 13-year-old girl found the body, and her mother called police. I can't help but think of this little girl, and the feelings she must have felt, seeing a deceased teenager. It must have been traumatic for her. It's unclear at this time how the child ended up in the cemetery. The last recorded burial at the Spring Hill Cemetery dates back to April of 2004, with most of the graves unmarked and unidentified. As of now, the body has not been identified nor the cause of death. We'll share more details about this incident as they become available. Whether this is related to one of the cases we follow or not, I ask that we pray for the loved ones of this teenager. He is someone's child. Just heartbreaking when we get such news.